Okay, exercise 4.1 reads, suppose a certain population of observations is normally distributed. What percentage of the observations in the population are within A plus or minus uh, 1.5 standard deviations of the mean? Okay, what this means is we're at zero, and if we go up one and a half standard deviations, and we go down one and a half standard, standard deviations, we want to know what is contained in this area right here. So we look up z equal to 1.5, and that corresponds to an area to the left. 1.50 is equal to 0.9332. That's the area to the left. And then we look up z equal to negative 1.5. And the area to the left there is equal to 0.9332. Which means oops, 0.9332 minus 0 0.0668 is equal to 0 0.8664. So about about 87 percent there. That's part A. Part B asks, are more than two and a half standard deviations above the mean? So more than 2.5 SD above the mean. So in this case, we're at zero and we go out two and a half standard deviations, and we want to know what's out here. So if we look up 2.5 in our z-table, that corresponds to an area to the left is equal to 0.9938, which means this part is the area to the right or above is equal to 1 minus 0.9938 and in this case that's going to be 0 0.0062 part B and part C says are more than three and a half standard deviations away from the mean, so above or below the mean. So I'm going to leave that picture in here. So the last part says we have our normal distribution centered at zero, and we want to know at three and a half standard deviations what is out here, and at negative three and a half standard deviations what is out here. Okay. Um, there's a couple ways we can do this. I can just, one way is I can find the tail, find out the area to the left of negative three and a half. Um, so z is equal to minus 3.5. Okay, and actually, there, our table doesn't go out there. It only goes to 3.49. So we're going to have to round down to negative 3.49. That's the closest we can get to negative 3.5 standard deviations. And that um, corresponds to an area of 0 0.0002. Okay? And because the normal distribution is symmetric, we will have 0 0.0003 over here 
and we'll also have 0 0.0002 over here for a total area in the tails 0 0.0004. Okay. Alternatively, I could have found the area to the left of negative 3.5. So z is positive 3.5. The area to the left there is equal to 0.9998, which means the area to the right is also going is the same, 0 0.0002, and I could have added those together. So I think just by using the symmetry and saying the area in the tails will be equal because we've got negative 3.5 here and positive 3.5, uh, we had a little bit of a shortcut, and we have the total area in the tails there. So there are your answers for parts A, B, and C of problem 4.1.